Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday, everybody, on July 26th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Grant. Good to see you, John. Casey, Ken, good to see you all. Rich, Bones, everybody. Hope I didn't miss anyone. Welcome back. Missed you guys. I tell you, I know it's been gone for about three days. Was it three days? Yeah, it was three days, right? Uh, you know, I basically went down to Washington, D.C., um, took my uh, kids down there, and uh, not only that, I also bumped into a couple of traders, and it was pretty funny. I was talking to them. Let me tell you, there's some negative people out there. there you, you know what's amazing? Um, there's so many types of traders out there, and, you know, swing traders, options traders, uh, bad traders, and stuff like that. And uh, the, the negativity out there, first of all, you know exactly who they are. Uh, because they're just so ticked off that they didn't buy more of the stock. And just like they're still they, they, they're hoping this market will crash because they basically want to just because they, they, they just lost the whole rally, you know, and um, and they just kept on asking, ah, you know, is this going to happen. This is going to happen. I'm like, dude, I'm like, when you break through a roof of a building, OK, where is your resistance level? They're like, uh, there isn't any. And they're like, congratulations, you just you just, pat, you just graduated from kindergarten. I told them, okay, it it just it, it, but you know, Ken and everybody else. I'm just telling you, the people are just so jealous that they didn't get this rally, and they're still debating of what's going on. And let me tell you something. Seeing what's going on regarding some of these stocks, I mean, let's start off with Snapchat. You know, um, Snapchat. I'm just ticked off at myself. I didn't buy more shares of this. I knew last week when the thing started rallying, I mean, I was really upset I didn't buy it earlier. We saw this thing beginning of the year. This thing is $5, okay? You're talking about this stock is literally up almost 400% on a swing trade. Um, stock looks pretty strong. You guys did really well on it. Uh, they're, still <laughs> they're still in dryers. Yeah, that's it. They're still looking at, they're still looking at, at dryers. And uh, what was the other one? Um, it was the other one too that we got, got crushed. The uh, HMNY, <laughs> that's it. The HMNY. At least dryers is in the dollars. I mean, HMNY is like in in in, in that tenth of a penny. But uh, but anyway, listen. It, it's been it's been fun. It's been exciting. It's been a great swing trades, guys. Swing. Tra uh, listen. I and one of the big things um, that I also found out is that. People still are so negative about day traders. They're like, eh, you know, you know what, you know what they told me? There's not really that many day traders are there, really. I mean, you guys really day trade? I'm like, seriously? I'm like, yeah, we're 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 probably the ones that are probably more of us than anything. They're like, really? I didn't think you guys really existed. You guys really trade? I'm like, you know what? You keep thinking what you're thinking, all right? Um, because my whole argument, I was trying to tell them, like, listen, if you're a day trader. You want to be a good swing trader. You want to be option. You got to learn how to day trade, you know, and that's really comes down to it. Um, so, uh, and, and then I'll tell you another story because I was also down there arguing uh, with some, some, some people down there regarding about getting rid of the stupid day trading rule too. That's another thing I was trying to deal with. They're like, eh, you know, we really think it should stay like that. You know, I'm like, all right, whatever. So, um, but anyway, Great, great movements, great stocks that are moving, guys. And you could see one of them was the big one, which was the snap. Now, regarding about save, I heard you guys had a real fun time. I had a pissa with this stock, save, S-A-V-E. I mean, you guys were just basically joking about how much this, this you know, no one really likes to uh, fly this stock. And uh, it's just a matter of time. It was just a matter of time. I refuse, my wife refuses to fly with this airline refuses period okay you know who flies w w with spirit the people want free stuff that want in that that try to get as cheap as possible but then they realize to get on the plane it's really not that as cheap as they thought um you know you pay for this you pay for that you want oh you want to you want to put your feet up um you know uh, you want to fold your feet we're gonna have to charge you two dollars for that oh you want to you want a cup of water you're thirsty oh, i'm sorry uh that's about fifteen dollars so anyway there you go. Stock took a big crush. And, um, you know, it's not like the Delta. I mean, uh, what was it? The Delta trade that we talked about uh, did, did well. 
what is it? What is the symbol of Delta again? What is it DE? Uh, I, I know I love Delta too. I fly Delta all the time. What is it DEL, right? Why is it not my mouse? Not. Wireless keyboards are the worst. There. So Delta, I, I told you a couple, of, a couple of weeks ago, that stock has been starting to test and breaking some higher highs. And uh, I, you know what? Listen, good companies keep going, but I think a lot has to do because gas is very cheap. Um, I mean, that's a big, big, big factor. I think they say 70% of the, the uh, airline's tickets are, are towards fuel. And you see what's happening with fuel. Fuel's not going anywhere, and these guys are really packing it in. I think they buy a year in advance. I'm not really an analyst and stuff. But, uh, but anyway, regarding, I, I, I fly Delta, I fly United. I will not fly Uni American Airlines. I don't know. For some reason, last time I flew in American Airlines, I was, uh, it was about a year ago because I had to take a flight to go somewhere and was really the only one I could fit within my schedule at the time. And do you believe the plane that was on actually had the cigarettes? You know the cigarette uh, uh, ashtray that's in the center console and stuff. I'm like, holy! How old was this plane? So that was that was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> all right. So anyway, let's go through the watch list because there are a couple of stocks we got to keep an eye on. First of all, the SMSI. Looks pretty cool. This thing's been breaking high, uh, all time highs right here. Uh, I'm looking on my uh, orders right here. There was a pretty big order that he was sitting there earlier around, what is this, at $4.87. He's not there anymore. He looks like he dropped his order down to $4.74. And you can see right here on the right that, you know, it's a 5,000 share seller out there. Yeah, that's the guy I'm seeing right now. It's kind of look like it's having a tough time breaking it. But if it breaks it, we got to keep an eye on time and sales and see if that guy gets executed and if he breaks out. But it looks like it has a little resistance levels there. I know some of you guys are doing pretty well on that one. A couple other ones that also – I got a, a few of them down here. DSTM is another one uh, that we found early this morning. It was doing pretty damn good. I don't know what the hell happened. and just kind of fell out of bed. So, I mean, I had a nice little Fausto flag right here in, in yesterday's after hours and she gapped up pretty nice but she's going back down and if you remember i did call it out i says you know what there's a really big seller out there at a buck 60 it was a, a buck 65 or something like that and you can see he's still out there thirteen thousand share seller right here at dollar 62 looks like he lowered it he was actually i think it was at buck 65 if i was correct but um but if it tests some some major support levels like this fifteen thousand share buyer at a buck 35 i mean it looks like it could be a little fun stock. This is pretty good for you, some beginners. Okay. What else? Uh, Vodafone. This one's doing pretty nicely. You could see it's more of a gappy type of stock looking at the long term chart, but it's got some big buyers. It does trade a lot of volume. It's up nicely today. But guys, as a day trade, I, I'll tell you the truth. From what I remember, it was never a fun stock to trade. All right. What the hell is going on with Beyond Meats? Holy cow. I was just told, and I'm looking into it right now. Um, someone told me about a new IPO is coming out. There's another Beyond Meat stock that's coming out, and um, it's going to be priced around 30 bucks. It's the same company, same very similar company out there. I'll let you guys know when I find out more about it. But um, there's another one that's coming out. So Beyond Meats, I mean, this thing is just an animal. Now, listen, when you break through the roof, guys. I mean, we thought a buck 160 was high. Look at this thing. This thing's already at 240. When is it going to stop? Holy cow, right? What a great bet that was. We know we're not going to trade it. Another thing that's really shocking is Starbucks. Okay? So Starbucks has been a great, great swing trade. You see we're having tons of earnings coming out. Now, I know a lot of us don't want to go out there and trade Starbucks at $98. But what about Lucan, this one? You know, we saw this thing take a big hit down to 15. New IPO. Looked like it's building a little bit of a Fausto flag. It's not the greatest fun day trading stock, but you know what? It could be a good swing trade. Remember, I keep I was talking about this for a while. I told you guys about this following Starbucks. It wasn't really a day trade. It was more of a swing trade. I don't know if you guys got into it, but listen, when we were talking about it, it was right around $18, $19. You know, nice little win when you're at 23 
So that one is looking pretty good. STST, I mean CTST, another one that took a big, big hit. Looks like it's gapped up a little bit, 300,000 shares, a lot of volume. I think a lot of you level one traders want to have a problem getting into this. Now, the, obviously, the big news is all the brand name spikes. Um, Grant says the SMSI just spiked. Yeah, I mean, listen, it, it, this, this as of right now, a 40% million shares, fun little stock, but it's not a level one stock, guys. Now, you're hearing all the news, a lot of, lot of earnings coming out. Twitter did pretty well. You could see that. Um, Google's doing pretty well. All these... Um, all these uh, social media stocks and internet stocks are doing pretty well. I was even shocked. You know, Intel even actually is doing pretty well. Intel made a big comeback. I mean, a lot of earnings. And then next week, what do you got? You got G coming out. You got IQ. Listen, earnings seasons is here, guys. And then, you know, August comes around and things are probably obviously slow down a little bit. But listen, great, great, great week to make money. I'll tell you, I was so ticked off I was gone. I, you know, I... It is. It is nothing more that kept going in my mind about getting certain positions. But uh, listen, I always tell everyone: don't worry about the stock market's not going out of business. And uh, Ben just posted up a couple of things regarding a couple of reports regarding about the top five stocks on uh, the Benzinga stuff like that. Yep, Twitter. I mean, you just saw that. You saw that out there. Bunch of them. Bunch of them out there. All right. And guys, listen. If you like Twitter, you hate Twitter, you're in social media, you don't like social media, just remember one thing. Don't let your personal beliefs not prevent you from making money on these stocks, okay? So, I mean, I know we joked around with Sprint. Uh, I mean, uh, not with Sprint, with uh, Spirit Airlines. But at the end of the day, the trend is your friend. Don't buck the trend, okay? All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading, and we'll see you all back at 2.30. And don't forget, next week, before we go, we got a big, big week next week. You got my, um, you got phase three that's going on. You got Traders Talk. You're going to have Tom Sosnoff from Tastyworks, the founder of Thinkorswim. You're going to have, uh, and also we have the Cyber Expo. We got great presenters, Ema, Michael, uh, Michael Guest, uh, Barry Burns, myself, tons of stuff. And then for all of you that are coming in September, don't forget, we still got some seats open, um, but the hotel is getting pretty full. So if you haven't booked your your cyber t uh, your uh, summit ticket for September here in New York, uh, you better get on top of that. All right, guys? In the meantime, if you also do pretty well, it is Friday. It is absolutely gorgeous. The heat wave is gone. I wish it's like this all the time. I have to move to California. I mean to San Diego to weather like this. But beautiful 80s, no humidity, gorgeous out. So I'm expecting a lot of people leaving early work and going hitting the Hamptons. So uh, let's make our money early and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.